apprehended the self-proclaimed leader of Kazakhstan, General Ivan Radik. The forces of Radik were directed towards the suppression of democracy. His nuclear arsenal could have brought the world into a new Cold War. But thanks to the support of one of the world's greatest leaders, Radik is now in prison. Today, we are honoring this brave man. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, the President of the United States of America. The dead remember our indifference. The dead remember our silence. I came here tonight to be congratulated. But today, when I visited the Red Cross camps, overwhelmed by the flood of refugees fleeing from the horror of Kazakhstan, I realized I don't deserve to be congratulated. None of us do. What's he doing? Let's speak the truth. That's not the speech. But the truth is, we acted too late. Only when our own national security was threatened did we act? Radek's regime murdered over 200,000 men, women, and children, and we watched it on TV. We let it happen. People were being slaughtered for over a year, and we issued economic sanctions and hid behind the rhetoric of diplomacy. How dare we? The dead remembered. Real peace is not just the absence of conflict, it's the presence of justice. Tonight, I come to you with a pledge to change America's policy. Never again will I allow our political self-interest to deter us from doing what we know to be morally right. Atrocity and terror are not political weapons. And to those who would use them, your day is over. We will never negotiate. We will no longer tolerate, and we will no longer be afraid. your turn to be afraid. <laughs> 